Hey, how's it going? I'm so excited. Guess what? What we have here? 50,000 Orbeez. It's crazy. It's raining Orbeez. And we got the Uber i7 Plus with the self emptying fan. Alright, let's have some clean up fun. Not yet, Roomba. Hold on one second. Okay, we've probably seen all these Orbi challenges online. Well, here's something new. An Orbeez versus a Roomba. We'll see if this Roomba i7 Plus can pick up the majority of these Orbeez being spilled onto my bathroom floor. Setting up the Orbeez is really easy. Just stick them in a bucket, fill up some water. One thing you could do is add a little bit of salt, which makes them a little bit smaller, but they'll last longer. I'm hoping that this Roomba can pick up all these Orbeez because I'm going to have a huge mess on my hand if the Roomba fails. Starting the Roomba couldn't be easier. Go ahead and select the iRobot app. Either supports iPhone or Android. So once you have the robot paired to the smartphone, you can see this giant clean button. And with this giant clean button, you have the option to choose the room, both on the i7 and the S9. So one nice feature is this robot supports up to 10 different floor plans. For this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and clean up my master bathroom. The i7 is quite quiet around 63 decibels, so you can run this robot at night without disturbing anyone. And please forgive my new cameraman, he's trying to figure out how to turn it on, but I think he was struggling, so I have to go over there and help him. So this little hockey puck style robot weighs 7.28 pounds, also is 13.31 inches in diameter, has a height of 3.62 inches. With its slim profile and round design, easily maneuvers around Furniture also can get under chairs, bedroom sets, any types of low hanging furniture. So that's one nice benefit about camera based systems is there's no hump like LiDAR systems. The Roomba's dustbin filled up fairly quickly and I measured it at 1.5 cups or around 530 milliliters. So the i7's dustbin is a little bit larger than most robot vacuums which are slightly under 500 milliliters. Okay, so once the i7 filled up its dustbin, it's going to go ahead and return back to its docking station. You can't get this robot by itself or with the docking station, so that's what the i7 Plus means. means it comes with the docking station in the package. So I like to indicate on the robot, blue means it's returning back to its docking station, white means it's running, and red means that there's an issue with the robot. Okay, let's see how many Orbeez the robot picked up on its first pass, and we'll see how efficient the self-emptying bin system is. I did empty out the robot prior to starting this challenge. Also, the self-emptying bin has a brand new disposable bag. Now, I have heard some people say that they empty out their bag and try to use it. I have tried this before, and over time, the bag actually degrades and leaks out some of the dust. Whoa, what do you guys think about that side brush? Yes, I think the side brush on the i7 spins way too fast. Hopefully in the future, I will back and incorporate a speed sensing side brush and slow it down. So take a look at the navigation. You can see that the Roomba is bouncing around a lot, but over time in this 
video, the Roomba learned the most efficient route to get back to its docking station. Let's go ahead and check out the bag. This is after three more self emptyings and you can see that the bag is almost halfway full, but it is getting quite heavy because these Orbeez do retain some water. So I'm actually quite impressed how well the self emptying bin works, and I have tried out several different variations, the Prescenic M7 Pro, the Shark IQ, also some older D-Bot self emptying bins, and this is one of the best systems so far. So at the time of filming, this Roomba i7 Plus is about 8 months old, and I have noticed some several updates which have improved the performance of the robot, especially with the self emptying bin system. Uh, one thing to note is the dirt detection sensor will right away notice if the dirt bin's full to prevent overflowing. You may notice how quickly the i7 goes to the room, picks up some Orbeez, and then returns back to his docking station all within a few minutes. Now, the reason behind this is the dirt bin, even though it's at 530 milliliters, does fill up rather quickly. Also, the dirt detection sensor doesn't want to fill up the bin too much because if it dust bin's completely full, it makes it harder for the self empty bin to extract all the debris. So, I like that iRobot is proactively up updating its robot via software updates, and the Roomba has significantly improved. One thing to know is the navigation could use some work. You can see that it's trying to find its docking station, and it kind of got confused, but eventually finds its way back home. Also, take a look at how well it navigates around its tripod. One thing to know is since the robot does have a front-facing camera or a LiDAR sensor to pick up objects ahead of it, it has to rely on its infrared sensors and physical bump sensors. Now, with infrared sensors, you can see that it they don't see well with black objects or clear objects, so sometimes the robot will hit harder than necessary to interact with those furniture. Okay, what do you guys think? How well is the i7 Duke? I think it, it's about halfway done, and it's picking up the majority of the Orbeez so far, so I give it two thumbs up so far. We'll continue on with the test, and we'll see if we have any issues. So, did you guys figure out how many times the robot went back to self-empty itself? I couldn't. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, take a look down here. There's some Orbeez accumulated near the base of the dustbin. Now, what I did was go ahead and clear it out because it could cause issues down the road with the ceiling problem. Also, that red indicator will let you know if the bag's been removed or if there's an issue with the self-emptying bin. You also get a notification on your app and also on your smartwatch if you do own one. There's a couple settings you can change with the i7. One thing is the pause cleaning when full. What this means is when the dustbin is full, it has to return back to its docking station. Great if you have the self-emptying bin, it will empty itself and then go back to where it left off. Now another feature is keep cleaning when full. This is great if you don't have the self-emptying bin and you want the robot to complete the job regardless if the dustbin is full or not. And don't worry, the iRobot app will let you know if there's any issues and it's really good about notifying you. And if you click on an issue, it actually will tell you how to solve the issue through its website. Also, there's some videos that will show you how to get the issue resolved. Okay, looks like we're almost two thirds of the way done. Looks like the Roomba is going to be able to complete and pick up the majority of these Orbeez. So what do you guys think? Do you guys own a Roomba model or do you guys have a different brand, the Brasenic, the LG, the Roblox series, or maybe a different brand, Samsung, Nito. There's so many brands out there, it's hard to keep track. Alright, so how the self-emptying bin works is actually extracts the dirt from the bottom of the robot and up to the top. The system is completely sealed, so you won't have any dirt and debris. It also creates a vacuum. On the robot, you have a home button, giant clean button, and spot clean button. You also have that camera-based system, iDAP 3.0, a nice little carrying handle. And with every signature Roomba robot, you have that physical bump sensor, which the Roomba relies a lot to make sure that there's an object in front of it. Okay, let's look at the self-emptying bin system. Now, it's quite unique that there's a seal around the top lid there. Once you open up the lid, you actually pull up on the flap to empty out the disposable bag. And down in there is a fan unit, which is a mesh filter, so it helps keep dirt and debris away from your fan unit. I had to do this rather quickly because the robot only takes a couple minutes to go out and return to empty itself. Okay, let's talk about the iAdapt 3.0 system. The navigation is pretty good, uh, minus those navigation quirks which I talked earlier. But one thing to know is iAdapt 3.0 allows you to save up to 10 floor plans. you also be able to select the room you want, but unfortunately there's no area select. 
iRobot just recently updated the robots to have keep out zones. Alright, so here's the Roomba S9 Plus or S9 and the dual extractor bar designs found on like the 960, the i7 and also the S9. So I want to kind of give you a secret why the Roombas can handle so much dirt and debris with its self-emptying bin. See that little gold hockey puck thing? That's actually the dirt detection sensor. Allows the robot to determine if the dustbin's full and go back and then go back to its cleaning job. Also, you have an optical flow sensor, charging contacts, and that self-emptying bin port. It does a really good job. It's one of the best systems out there. So I want to give a big thanks to all of you that liked and subscribed and commented on my YouTube channel. You guys are awesome. Thanks so much. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a nap. Wake me up when it's done. Whoa, that was quite loud. I guess you could use this as an alarm clock and wake up everyone. Okay, let's keep on going here. The Roomba is just going back and forth, cleaning up the area and taking bit by bit. But over time, it looks like there's less dirt and debris. I'm emptying out the bag. Now, I'm getting quite bored here, so I decided to just mess with the robot, put sparkles on there. I also tried putting different stuffed animals on there, maybe like a Shiba Inu. Let's see how well the robot handles a giant stuffed animal on top of the robot. These well, vacuums have to design to withstand a different variety of challenges, whether it be obstacles or different challenges, something that's been placed on top of the robot. Maybe a pet wants it to go for a ride. Well, it's possible, and I put a Shiba in you on top of it to block the navigation camera. And you can see that the robot has no problem going to the area and also being able to clean that area. So this demonstrates that the rumors can navigate in low light conditions. So regardless if the camera is covered up or not, the robot relies on its wheel encoders, its gyros, and other sensors to help it navigate to the certain area. So I did do a challenge where I put my 4 year old daughter on top of the robot and she's about 33 pounds and the robot had no issue carrying her. Now one thing to know is I don't recommend this because it could provide additional strain on the components like the gearbox and motors could ultimately cause failure. Wow, I need to get another glass container to hold all these Orbeez. Okay, look at this guys. It looks like it's uh, basically cleared out the majority of the Orbeez in the center of the room. Now let's go ahead and do a permanent sweep and try to grab the rest of the Orbeez. One thing that I did know is a recent software update made the side brush less efficient. So around the edges of the perimeter of the room, it actually doesn't grab all the dirt and debris. Maybe this was a fluke in the software update, but I think I remember that the side brush on the Roomba did a lot better. Let me know in the comments if you've had issues with the side brush performance. Okay, so the robot's just wrapping up. Now one thing to know is I did tell the app it just to clean this area, but I did try to go into the next room. Maybe this is just a navigation fluke. But anyways, once the robot's done, it's just gonna let me know by a blue indicator. Hopefully in the future it will notify me by maybe a sound or something. So you notice that the app does have live updates, just not with the map, and you can see that it's telling you exactly what's going on with the robot. So it looks like the robot's charging and is ready to do another cleaning job. Now let's go and check the history here. Looks like it took an hour and 18 minutes to completely finish that job with two passes. Also in green lets you know where the robot was able to get at, and in white is the areas where the robot didn't get at. Now let's go and check out the issues with the ceiling problem. That's why I had during the end of my test, and you can see that iRobot does a really good job explaining all the details on how to resolve the issues. Whoa! Dang, Roomba! You showed up in competition. You picked up about 50,000 Orbeez. I can't believe it. Even I can't do that. Good job, Roomba i7 Plus. Yes, iRobot has a really good self emptying bin system for the Roomba i7 Plus and for the S9 Plus. So, looking for a robot vacuum that can pick up a lot of dirty debris and do really well with pet hair, I think the Roombas aren't a bad choice. So, hope you liked this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Good job, Roomba. See you later.